The Western Major Baseball League is quiet tonight as they get set to begin the playoffs tomorrow night. The Lethbridge Bulls will be in Okotoks to face the Dogs in the opening round of the playoffs beginning tomorrow at Seaman Stadium. Game two will be Thursday in Okotoks, game three Friday in Lethbridge. The Medicine Hat Mavericks will be at home to open their series tomorrow night against the Moose Jaw Miller Express. Game times are 7.05 also. And tonight in the CFL, there is a rare Tuesday night game as the Toronto Argonauts host the BC Lions. Zach Caleros gets the start with Ricky Ray nursing a knee injury for Toronto. The Spitz Stadium is getting its final touches as it gets ready to host the Junior Little League National Championship this week. There will be seven teams, including Lethbridge, taking part in the nine-day tournament at Spitz Stadium. 21 round-robin games and five playoff games. Organizers say this event should bring close to $700,000 to the local economy. So that's a, that's a significant uh, uh, economic value to it, but of course there's the, the you know the uh, sport and cultural value to the to the event as well as it uh, it builds to give exposure and uh, and uh, image to the city across the country. Just want to hope all the teams uh, have a great uh, nine days here in Lethbridge and wish them all the best of luck and uh, look forward to crowning a champion on the on the 8th of August. You can catch Lethbridge taking on British Columbia at Spitz Stadium tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Another big signing today in the NHL as the Sharks try to hold on to their key players to remain a contender in the West for years to come. The San Jose Sharks signed center Joel Pavelski to a five-year, $30 million contract extension. Pavelski has one year remaining on his current deal at $4 million. Last season, Pavelski finished with 16 goals and 15 assists for 31 points in 48 games for the Sharks. That flying car of the future has finally arrived. Not on the freeways yet, but it may be coming to a golf course near you. The whole idea of a flying golf cart started out as a joke, but one club in the U.S. liked the idea so much, they are actually going to make it happen. Daryl Rovell has more. It was the Jetsons' vision of the future. But who would have thought the flying car would soar over a golf course? It all started when Masters champion Bubba Watson dreamed up a hovercraft golf cart. It was meant to be a stunt, ginning up publicity for his sponsor, Oakley. Now, more than 8 million people have watched Watson zipping over land and water. And who doesn't want to do that? People love the idea. People like Pete Duffy. So here it is, huh? This is it. The managing director of Windy Knoll Golf Course in Springfield, Ohio. He sees the chance to bring more people to his course, tracking down the company that made Bubba's cart. You've got the traditional top, the sand and seed mix bottles, and the holders for the bags behind the back bench. The course will charge $175 for one round with the hovercraft and a caddy pilot. Naturally, we asked to give it a try. I felt like I was on a carnival ride in the middle of a golf course. This is a nuts experience. Yes, I mean, it is. It may not be the future of golf everywhere, but guarantees fun, even if your golf game stinks. Darren Ravel, ABC News, Springfield, Ohio. That looks like a good time on the golf course. You don't care what your score is as long as you're in a hovercraft. It's good times.